Welcome back to the show. My name is Evan, along with Michael J. Babcock. What's up? Renee Montgomery. Hello, hello. Take a look at this video of Jonas Cespedes getting down at a salsa club with a uh, very attractive young lady. Two of them dancing around. Look at the moves, right? This is uh, all well and good if this was a normal time in the world, but it's not. It's the COVID pandemic. And Jonas Cespedes just opted out of the Major League Baseball season. Remember, he went missing in action with the New York Mets uh, after playing on Saturday. He went missing in action on Sunday and then told the team eventually, I'm opting out because I have fears of COVID. Well, it turns out that just a couple of weeks before he opted out, there was no fears because here he is at a Cuban restaurant, salsa dancing in Garden City, New York. And we are told from people inside the club that there were a ton of people in the restaurant. I know it doesn't look like it in his video, but Babcock, you spoke to people that were there. What are you hearing? Yeah, they said the uh, restaurant was absolutely packed, Evan. The reason it doesn't look like it's very crowded is because uh, laws in New York City right now, the dance floor was shut down. Jonas Cespedes is famous and wealthy and all that stuff very popular in the city. So they actually allowed him to dance. But the point is that he was in a crowded restaurant without a mask, seemingly with no concerns about COVID-19, only weeks before he opted out of the entire season uh, with the New York Mets because he was scared of COVID, supposedly. So this is remember. very interesting to me. And the reason it's interesting is because Gilmore Arenas dropped some nuggets on us about how the NBA players are handling the bubble and their frustrations with the bubble. And so now you see a baseball player opt out. Obviously, he, he could be scared of COVID. But if you see him at a restaurant two weeks earlier dancing with his, his lady friend, I don't know. Maybe Gilbert Arenas isn't as crazy. And I laughed yeah. really hard when yeah. Gilbert Arenas said it. But now that I'm watching more and more things unfold, I'm like, Gilbert Arenas might be on to yeah. something. Here's the thing, though. I, I don't believe that he was just like, you know, long and first and booty. I think that what he what this really is, is deeper issues with the Mets because he was partying at the at the restaurant a couple of weeks before. And then the day that he opted out on on that Sunday, he went missing. He didn't report to the Mets. And then he popped up at a mall in, in New York. He, I mean, he was at a yeah. shopping spree at Louis Vuitton. So I don't think that there are serious COVID concerns here. I think that he just was using this, this again, this is my opinion, as an excuse to just try and get away from the Mets because there seems to be some friction there. Babcock, you know more about this, right? Yeah, absolutely. Jonas Espinus was not happy. If you listen to many baseball insiders, was not happy with uh, the position he was playing on the Mets, where he was batting in the lineup, uh, how frequently he was playing. And uh, people believe that Jonas Espinus saw an opportunity for him to bail on this season, and he used COVID-19 as an excuse to get out of Dodge. But uh, I, I can tell you that most everybody does not believe Jonas Espinus, <laughs> and the reason he played was because he was scared of the virus. Babcock, do you think that there's a chance that he uh, ever suits up in a Mets uniform again, or is that ship set? No, he will never suit up. There is no chance. I have a better chance of playing for the Mets again than Jonas <laughs> Espinus. The question now is, does Jonas Espinus ever put on a Major League Baseball uniform again? And I think that's 50-50 at best. <laughs>